ears in the thumbnail. And on my forehead wrinkles. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me move my mic up a little bit. I don't think you can hear me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're once again doing a weekly wish list or washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, I actually really wanted to ask you guys a question. I'm gonna put a poll up in the cards just to ask I want to do more live streams maybe not like weekly maybe like every other week but I definitely want to do more live streams and I want to find out what day of the week is best for you guys and then let me know in a comment down below what time would be best and then what your time zone is too because I know there are some people across the United States there are some people in other countries and I could definitely bounce around and do time like you know, working around work. I can do uh, live streams working around different times, but I want to find out for my next one, like which one would be the best. So please do the poll in the cards and then let me know down below what time on that day is the best. Don't forget to give this a like if you like this weekly series. And if you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. All right, let's jump into trend mood. I actually haven't opened up the page yet. Let's go. Okay, so I have two updates from previously mentioned products. I did pick up the new Hourglass Ambient Light Edit Unlocked palette. I think it's going to get delivered today. I will do a full video on that, but I do want to thoroughly test it out, but that will come out in the next couple of weeks. I also, kind of on my impulse, picked up the new ColourPop palette because it's the first palette that's actually got me excited for ColourPop in a long time. <laughs> So I did pick this palette up. I think this is getting delivered sometime this week. Again, let me know if you want to see a full video on this palette. I wasn't planning to do one, but if you want to see one, I definitely could do a couple of looks because this is a very fall palette. I really, really am excited for this palette. Okay, so I want to talk about this new Natasha Denona gold palette. I first looked at it. I got really excited. I considered it. But when I actually look at this palette, the only thing exciting me are the two little greens. Cover up those greens. It's a brown palette. And I already have a full green palette from Natasha Denona. I do not need this. <laughs> Definitely do not. But it is very, very cute. And again, I don't know why she's coming out with the mini star palette, because that... It, it's really boring. I don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about two Sephora gift sets for the holidays. Personally, I thought about doing a video on this. I don't know how I feel about holiday releases actually being out this early because it's like they're skipping over my favorite time of the year. My favorite time of the year is September through November. I adore the weather. I adore the holidays. I have a skull chandelier hanging in my room. I just have like Halloween decor year round. Everything in my room is black. I just, I feel like these releases kind of skip over my favorite time of the year but I know how retail works I know the earlier you get stuff out the more time people have to buy it I used to work in retail I totally understand that but personally <laughs> don't skip over my favorite part of the year I love it but anyway Sephora is coming out with their lash stash Sephora favorites box this is an awesome oh my battery is about to die god damn it okay and we are back we were talking about the sephora favorites lash stash kit this is an awesome kit if you're looking to get like your next year and a half worth of mascara for a great price personally i like mini mascaras better and the fact that these are mostly minis is awesome the only mascara in here let me just take a look real quick it's got a full size of the perversion to mascara which i've been adoring from urban decay and it has minis of the Hourglass one that I have not tried yet, Bad Girl Bang, the Sephora brand Lash Craft Mascara. It looks like there's a long comb primer in there. The Marc Jacobs, that's a really good mascara too, the Marc Jacobs one. The only mascara in here that I've tried and just hated is the Better Than Sex. I cannot use the Better Than Sex mascara. It is way too dry and flaky and just crumbles all down my face no matter how many times I try it out. But I would even be tempted for this if I didn't already have like a stash of mascara that I have to go through. 
but this is a great deal it's 48 dollars. you get two full-size mascaras and then eight mini so you're good if you follow the three month rule you're good for a long time there just don't open the mascara until you're ready to use it a kit that i'm actually really really excited about and i think i'm going to get this one it looks like sephora is coming out with huge sets of their sephora collection liquid lips I've heard really good things about these liquid lipsticks, but I've never actually got on my way to try them. So I see that the, like it's literally like a huge kit here. I would really consider getting one of those. I don't know if it's just one kit. The colors look a little bit different, but I would want to try if they have, um, maybe not metallic ones, but if they have like that one on the top, I'd probably try that one out because that looks really interesting. But I don't see any prices. Yeah, I don't see any prices or when it's going to be available, but I would look into that one definitely. So Nima Tang came out with a collab with MAC Cosmetics that is incredible, and it looks like a beautiful red lipstick. If I can find this, I don't know if I'd order just one thing online from MAC, because I really don't need to buy anything else from MAC, but if they have these available at MAC counters, the next time I go to a mall or to the MAC store, I would definitely consider picking this up just to support her because she is an incredible YouTuber and I just love that blue red. The only thing is I don't know if is this a matte formula? A warm red lipstick and a matte finish. Okay so it is a matte finish. MAC mattes are not 100% my favorite but I would pick this up. Okay so this one I, I don't get. Coming from someone who's tried out a decent amount of Viseart shadows I have a Z palette mostly full of Viseart shadows and I never reach for it. Honestly, I don't think the formula lives up to the hype of the brand. It doesn't. Like for me, Natasha Denona, that lives up to the hype. There are some ups and downs, but it lives up to the hype. Viseart, I think they're definitely geared more towards professionals, but I don't think it's worth the price. I don't think it's... <sighs> I just don't think it's really worth it as a product, especially these gigantic palettes because they're like $200 or something. I don't know, that first one that came out looked kind of cute, but then if you look at all the shades, you're just like, okay, it's just like a gigantic palette of shades that you're never really going to use. This one... Uh, like, I feel bad saying this. No, I don't feel bad saying this. This looks like a NYX palette. <laughs> It does. I know I would never use any of these shades. I know their formula is not the best. And I know it's damn well not worth upwards of $200 for this. The only person I really see like promoting this brand on YouTube is Stephanie Nicole. And it's because she's like really good friends with the owners. I don't really see any other reviews other than people... Actually, no, that's a lie. Um... Emily Noel did one review on the purple palette and she said that they were some of the best purple shades ever. I don't have that palette. I know purple's a hard shade, meh, but other than that, like I really never hear this brand talked about. Take that as you will. <laughs> okay, so this is the collab that I've seen plastered all over Twitter, all over Instagram. This is the Kylie Cosmetics and Jordan Woods collab. Honestly, nothing about it is making me interested. The palette does look a little bit different, but cover up that purple and the pink. It looks just like the <laughs> the cherry blossom palette from KKW, like, no. Um, so I am not interested. I think it's a really cute idea. I think it's cute that she's collabing with her friend. It's just the products don't look interesting. <laughs> This is something that I think is a really good idea for ColourPop. They're coming out with a kit called the Best in Browse. It's $20 and you get a pencil, a gel, um, precision, oh, you get the precision pencil and then the precision brow color. Mm. So I haven't tried the gel. I actually bought the clear brow gel when I bought their recent palette. So I am going to be testing that out, but I haven't tried the tinted gel either. I tried the Precision Brow, the thin, thin one, didn't like it. It was way too waxy. I had to like stab my eyebrows just to get any color on. Did not like that one. I liked their regular brow, whatever that's called, just the Boss Brow Pencil. That one was good, but I ran out of product really fast. 
it did not last that long at all so i would be interested in trying out their the brow color what's whatever's in the pot that looks like the abh dip brow i'd try that out and i am going to try out the clear brow gel but i think like a kit like this is a really good idea okay so talking about the new dose of colors collab with desi and katie just take those blues out cover up the blues and it looks like every other palette and they're heavily like a lot of the marketing photos are of those last two shades like the dark shade and then the blue shade i'm not gonna go for it abh is coming out with a lip gloss kit like a little mini kit for 25 dollars. i'll jump on that they look really cute and i love you know i love me some mini lipsticks so i'll probably pick that one up Ooh, abh is coming out with a glitter glue a glitter adhesive i love my nyx glitter glue You know what? I'll try it out. I'll probably try this one out. Hey guys, so I'm jumping in here a little late with some late releases. If you didn't know, I film these every Tuesday morning before I go to work. So early Tuesday, I edit them Tuesday night and they go up Wednesday morning. So for the most part, if anything comes out during the day on Tuesday, I tend to just carry that over to the next week. But while I was at work today, there were two fairly major releases that came out and I wanted to go ahead and include them in this video. The first being the new ABH palette. This has already divided a lot of people. Already. It's called the Sultry palette. It's got glittery packaging and the inside basically is a cool toned soft glam. Now I did talk a lot of shit about soft glam and then I ended up really liking it when I tried it out. So I'm going to give this palette the benefit of the doubt. I will probably try it out. I really want to do a video on it. I don't know what the time frame is like for when it's going to come out, but just based on how much I actually ended up loving Soft Glam, I'm going to give this a shot. The other huge release is that ColourPop is collabing with Disney, which that's pretty big for ColourPop. That is huge. The only thing is that all of this looks so boring. <laughs> I think it's really cute that they did lipsticks based on the Disney princesses. I just wish they would have done the packaging different from the lipsticks that they already came out with. I would have probably picked those up if they had special packaging, if I'm being honest. I don't need those lipsticks, but nothing about the packaging is making me want to go out of my way to buy them. Not even to mention that palette. Oh Jesus, that palette. <sighs> I get it. The, the princesses have all neutral makeup. But why that palette? Jesus. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna stop right there and say that I think this is great for the brand. Yeah. That this collab is huge. But none of these products look at all interesting. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that for this week. I think we had actually a decent mix. I feel like the past couple of weeks have been a lot of just like duds. Nothing I've really been excited about, but that's good for my wallet anyway. <laughs> Especially with the holidays coming up. Oof. December is one heck of a month. I've got my brother's birthday, my birthday, my boyfriend's birthday, Christmas. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fun though. I love this time of year. I seriously do. Let me know down below what you thought of all of these products. And then don't forget, let me know about the live stream dates. Do the poll at the beginning. Let me know down below what times work well for you. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.